Yo, what's up? It's your boy Naftastic here, and today I'm starting off my Football Manager 2014 series. Obviously, I'm playing the beta version because the full game doesn't come out till next week. But I'm looking forward to seeing how it looks, get a feel for the game. You know, just ahead of the full version being released. Um, I'm gonna start on obviously the English leagues. Um, try and go right from the bottom to the top. So get through to this next phase go to the large database size and go right down to that squirrel conference north south um i'm probably gonna go with south but first things first let's get these settings right yeah it's okay let's get to the next screen start that game So the loading screen's taking a bit longer than expected. I've quickened it up for the purposes of this video. It actually took about a minute or two. But, uh, still waiting. Uh, the joys of managing one of these teams. Now, let's go right down. Let's drop down England. Screw north south. Let's check out the north teams. There's no one there I really care about that much. Um, let's check out no one there. Let's... Vauxhall, nah. Let's check out the South teams. Uh, scroll through these. I actually had a real tough time trying to pick a team. So many to go through. No one I have a real affiliation with. So, trying to really go with one of the worst teams there. Um, thinking Dorchester, Staines. I like the look of Concord Rangers just because the name was Concord, but and the nickname the beach was. But I went with Staines. I like the nickname the Swans. Predicted to finish nineteenth, so it gives me a good challenge. Um, below average training and youth facilities. But you know, it's a good starting point, and we want to take them all the way to the top. So I'm looking forward to the challenge. Let's save this game. Nick that stay in town. Save that. Yep. Yeah. Let's get through this. And now we've got a personal message from the chairman himself, so let's click through to that. And here we go. So manager of my caliber, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Um incoming transfer targets. So Responsible for offloading players, yada, 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 no philosophies. So I basically have free reign, and that's what I want to have. You know, starting at a bomb, no pressure. Let's just go through there and do what we can with this club. Because, frankly, they need all the help they can get. Um, interacting with the board, hearing something more from the chairman himself. Yeah, let's kiss ass a bit yeah sounds like a great idea i'd love to learn more about the club oh zero budget i didn't expect any different to be honest so i'm gonna be really young players i'm gonna be signing up for cheap experienced players um no i don't want to add any philosophies because i don't really know where this club is at the moment i want to get a feel for it see what their strengths are, see what their weaknesses are and build on that um, especially starting in the conference south a lot of the emphasis is on physicality but I like to try and bring a technical game in there so I'm going to try and find a happy balance between that anyway, meeting with assistant manager Scott Taylor um, let me see he wants to do today when he Got team policies. Yeah, sounds like a great idea. Sub it into squad friendly. Yeah, I'd like to do that. I mean, I always like to do that because before I play any other team, I get a good look at the players I have at my disposal, however good or bad that may be. And in the conference house, I'm assuming it's pretty piss poor. <laughs> but I mean, all to their own, I'm talking about in relation to the Premiership, obviously. Um, with regards to the Conference South, they're not too great, but 
hey, in real life, the marriage by Mark Scale, the legend himself. And if you don't all remember, it's Ali G's team, you know, the massive. So it will be good fun. It will be good fun. Uh, all these new subscriptions, Man United, because that's my favourite team. Um, everything else is pretty standard. Oh, look at that. One trophy in its club's history. English Isthmian League First Division. Be proud of that. Yeah, founded 1892. It's pretty, pretty rich in its history. It's going to do us proud. It's going to fill up that trophy cabinet. Let's see the competitions. Won up twice in the Isthmian League Premier Division. Won the First Division once. Ali Shaban, top scorer, 54 goals. We're going to try and smash that, basically. <laughs> I do not want my top scorer on my club being 54 goals. He looks pretty decent for a Conference South player, but I'm not going to bring him back in. Um, Mercy Kipratz, 175. Once again, I want to smash that. Oh, he's not too bad at all. Shame he's attached to a club. I may have snapped him up. And the highest position they've ever achieved is 8th in the Squirrel South. Basically, I want to rewrite this whole club's history, make it my own. Anyway, this guy is called Sanchez Ming. Yeah, didn't expect that face, did you? <laughs> a decent enough play with Dribbly 11. You know? He's got out of contract. I want to improve on that. A keeper. Chat Taylor is not bad at all. Not bad at all. He is going to be sticking around. He's my first choice, guaranteed. Guaranteed. Let's see the rest of my squad. Uh, it's quite deep, really. I've got quite a few players at my disposal. Play Leighton Orient next. Probably get smashed in that because obviously they're in League One, I believe. Top of it at the moment in real life, I think. So it's going to be a challenge in that front. But it should bring in a few quid. I mean, obviously, finance is quite important in this division. I mean, look at the depth. Centre back, I've got one good centre back. Jordan Brown's my left back, so I can't really consider him. I'm not sure. And Lewis Farrell is my other full back, so I need to get strength and depth in centre back. Again, oh, Scott Taylor, my assistant manager, is one of my key players. Fantastic. Well, centre midfield looks locked up. Um, would like more depth in a wing. I mean, it doesn't look too great there at all. But. Hugh Johnson, he is a top player, I think. Look at those stats. Free kick passing 14, work rate team. Oh, wait. I mean, his strength and pace is not great. I mean, you need physical attributes in these lower divisions. But also, oh, Hugh Johnson. What did I say? I can't remember. And Scott Taylor. Oh, mate. My assistant is a top player. I thought off the ball 15, composure 15. Yeah. You are starting player. Shame you're 37. I would have turned to you for many a year. Anyway. Um, there's Sanchez Ming. Uh, look at you. Ola Senyola. Yes, mate. Top striker. Finishing is 9. But strength is 15. Heading is 15. Yeah. Starting forward there. Uh, Need to improve on those finishing though. I need to offer him a contract because the contract's up as well. I can't afford it. Tell him to let be gone. I can send ya. Great player. Hundred pounds a week. Yeah, that fits my budget. Let's try and sting him out of a few quid though. Um sixty-five. <laughs> Go down to fifty, see what he says. Take down that goal bonus. And the appearance bonus. Um, what well, I really don't like about these this division is the unused substitute fee, but you can understand about why they want that. And so I try to dr drive that down as low as possible because I can't guarantee everyone the first team plays. But I'm pretty sure he's going to reject this. Let's see what he's going to say. I sub this to him, and he says, "Well, big surprise. Hey, he's not down the fee a bit at least." Down to £95 a week. Let's go down even more. I don't take that unused substitute for you, actually. No. Oh, it's gone down to 90 now. 
the negotiation is working in my favor. Nope, not happy with that. Should I settle? Yeah, think about it. I think I'll just go for 90, not 10 quid off there. We'll set that. Yep. Let's try to finish those. Oh, what did I just do there? Okay, happy with the discussions. Let's finish that. Thank you. Now we have to look at the rest of my squad. I mean, left wing, I've got two good players. Would like a few more good strikers. I need another left back because Jordan Brown's my only option there, really. Right back would be good cover. Yeah, look at that. Jordan Brown, left back. Can't turn to him as my centre back. Lewis Farrell's top player, Jordan, I feel. Yeah. I you sorted you are I start you said about I don't really have much option. So Jarrell I feel. Um he'll be a key player for me as Lewis Farrell will as well. I think those three players there are pretty much locked in a first team place. But I think I need more strength and depth there. Let's try and get Sanchez Ming a better looking. Hmm. Troy Ferguson is a cover centre mid. Max Warfold. Oh, here's a striker. I look at finishing eight. Yeah, great. Strength no great, much better either. So striker is a uh, an issue, should I say? Let's see what's in my under twenty ones. Ashley Lodge. Yeah, not a great player. Not a great player at all. Cyril Akenso, you know, Erivaldo, Erivaldo Felix, strength 2, Cyril, finishing 11, and his strength's not the greatest, but he's 19, I can improve that, getting trained up, let's get him up into the CD squad, no, I don't want that, what we're doing now, I'm going to go back into my under-19 squad, see my options, goalkeeper's not, He's not bad for 17, but he's not going to take a starting place. A uh, bit threadbare, but didn't expect much better. Um, let's go to that league history. Finances. Zero transfer budget. 20% of transfer revenue made available, which is quite generous. I mean, considering they're not exactly the most cash laden club in the, the country. 2.97k budget per week wage budget it's pretty good Eesh, all those zeros when you look at or when you play with a premiership club you just see how vastly different these numbers are and it's only when you come down to this level you really truly appreciate that oh that projection is not pretty and i'm gonna have to try and push that and i'm gonna make some commitments to players but I'm doing that on the basis that I'm gonna win things or at least finish higher up than they've ever finished so those those predictions are really what I hope to be inaccurate because they are based on the fact that they're assuming we're gonna finish around 18th or so my ambition is if not to get promoted to get top half pushing for that sort of region in this first season I and mean, I know it's going to be tough because there's going to be clubs in this league that are a lot better. Well, hey, first first things first, address our centre back issues. So, but defend the centre. Go transfer listed. No, I've got no transfer budget. I need to get people that have no contract attachments. So uh, let's see, Paul Fowler, age 15. Hmm. This is the kind of player, really, that I'm going to be looking for. Young, cheap, free. Basically, got a ton of potential to fulfill. Dallas. <laughs> yep, you're going to get a trial just for your name alone, Dallas Moore. Let's hope your defending stats are pretty good. 
get him until the end of the preseason. I mean, I'm doing this really more so I don't have to waste scouting fees. I can bring them in and look at them myself. Um, I'll probably do this with a few players. Not a ton, but specifically my centre back region because addressing your defensive issues is probably going to be the first thing to improve your league position. Um, let's see. Tom Bradley, you got a club. Um, do, do, do. Wanted by three clubs. As you can see, I mean, my uh, my copy of the beta versions. I don't know why it's, but when it's not a exact club logo, it's coming up with some sort of black background behind the kits and the logos, which is quite annoying. I hope that goes away for the full game. I'm sure it will. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's just a beta issue. Anyway, this 15 year old looks pretty decent. I'll give you a trial, just so I can have a better look at his uh, Grant McDonald's defending stats. Mm, Justin Clayton, yeah. no. See the, the the difference is he's twenty three and he's no way near as good as Grant McDonald. See again here, twenty four yards. Damn, that's pretty good actually. Pretty good and his aggression. Yeah, I'll give David Stevens a go. Let's give him a two week trial. Two weeks. It's no harm. I mean, I'm so exposed with my centre back options. Wow. Look at this 16 year old. Tackling 13, heading 12, bravery 18. Yes, mate, you are getting a trial, Lewis back. I imagine it's going to be pretty hard to try and sign these guys because they're young and talented. <laughs> and being one of the lowest teams in the conference, South. Um, it's gonna be a challenge to get grabbing for myself. Um, twenty-one year old. Right. How about you? No. Marking nine, tackling seven. If only leadership was that. Andy Pearson, heading ten, technique ten, pace ten, strength nine. Can't really see any defensive stats, so I'm gonna have to time take this guy on. A trial and he's from White Talk, which means it's one of my league's rivals. So I try and take an advantage wherever I can. Next up, let's look at. I'm gonna try and get some strength in there. Also, Obam one guy. Strength fifteen, heading twelve. Doesn't really look like he has much else to his game. I mean, if that's all I wanted, I think he could probably do a pretty decent job in Conference South. But I'm trying as much as I can to get some technical ability into my team. Like, here, if he wasn't 40, I'd definitely like a player like Kevin Austin. <laughs> he has... Attributes it shows he could be a decent player, but he's 40, so that means he's not a long term option and he's not going to be able to play so many games on the bounce. So I'm gonna to have to rule him out, which is a shame. And it's just a matter of really isolating which attributes you want to look for. I mean, I've started off looking at strength. But it could be a whole variety, and I'm I'm sure as I get deeper and deeper in this, I'm going to look at stuff like, especially for defending, marking, tackling, you know, positioning, just stuff that is so inherently important in being a good defender at any level. Like, yes, you can, you can spend your time in the gym and get stronger. That those fitness issues are not as much of a concern to me as a technical standpoint, which aren't so easy to teach. So, although I'm searching my strength here, that's more a quick fix type thing than anything else. Um, let's 
continue to look for a midfielder with a bit of strength. Doesn't look too bad. My scouts reckon he's a five star player. Um, for a midfielder, his passing is nine, which is already a red flag. Finishing four. I mean, hesitant. I'm hesitant. I mean, I'd like to trust my scouts. Like, if that's the kind of player they're going to give me as five stars, I'm a bit concerned. <laughs> This guy again, passing is 11, so he's pretty deep, like he's much better than the previous guy. So give him a contract? No. 450 quid a week? No. This way, way outside of my price budget. Mika Hyde, this guy, <laughs> if you remember him, bit of a legend. Jamaican international, playing in the conference hour. 220 quid a week, I wish I could afford that. Let's try and haggle him down. See what I can get him for. 85 quid is what I want to spend on him. He's got a slight interest in squad status I'm offering, which is obviously a key player. I mean, I know I said Kevin Austin at 40, he's too old for my team, and I'm being a bit of a hypocrite because Mika Hyde's 38, but international caliber player, it's, I think he's a better player than Kevin Austin. Um... And he gives some top cover for my midfielders, if not starting or outright. 190 quid a week he's asking for now, and no, that's too much. 150, 190. Come on, come on, Mika, work with me here. Just push him down further, be a bit cheeky. Ugh, he's not budging for that 190. No, come on. I'll leave it. He's not gonna budge. Ah, that's a shame. I would have liked him in the side. And I might live to regret that, but I need numbers rather than I know I know they always say quality over quantity, but I need to find that happy balance right now because my squad needs cover and the frequency of games you play, especially when these guys are at best part time players. I mean, I'm going to need depth. I'm going to need depth. And for that reason, I hate to say it, quality can be sacrificed to an extent. See, midfielders left. I uh, don't really need it, but it's, uh, it's a nice, nice thing to have. Page 15, that's ambitious. Let's so go down 40-13. Senior, uh, no one my scouts really ranked. No one's really wanted. Oh, Mark, good fellow. He's 31 years old and all he has is pace. So 11, Danny Thomas, 32 year old. Again, pace, not much else. Um, Steve Hume. 16 year old. Uh, it, it, you can see that there's. A remnant of a potential player here. It's a good first touch. Decent pace. Let's see if we can get it down to 25. 10. To do. Negotiate those down. Down. Oh. Come on. Get that down. How me out here. I'm trying to save a few quid. Come on, Steve. Be kind. It's dangerous, you can't afford the world. I know you're 16. And I know 30 quid a, a week. Isn't it great, but you're part-time. Always agreed. 35 quid, deal done. I hope. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So meet the players, this whole team meeting. Alright. I wanted to take the opportunity to introduce myself to you as the new stage manager. Yeah. I'm not going to try and be big headed and say many of you will know me. Yep. Jet Turner. It's a keeper. I don't know much of him. I'm going to be, I'm going to be positive. I'm going to say we can be safe mid table. Let's be optimistic. I know we're relegation battlers, but I'll say mid table. Oh, come on. Come on. 
Yeah, Hugh Johnson agrees with me. Come on, Jamal Eiffel. Too ambitious. There's no such thing. There is no. If I said I wanted to win the league in ten years, that would be too. I mean, the Premier League in ten years, I'd be too ambitious. See, see, Sanchez, you have the right attitude. I like it. Easily swayed. <laughs> Seven players reacted badly. Ugh. Look at that, Luke now. Duly noted, lads. Duly noted. <laughs> the Taylor present stains report. Olu Akinsenya is out. Corner. Ashley Lodge, I can. Ha I wouldn't lose any sleep about losing this guy. His pace is electric, but apart from that, I don't think he offers much to my squad. Scout is saying I should look at these players. Robin Shaw, you look pretty decent. Look at your stats. Yeek. There you go, it's classic physical stats over everything else. Um, I'm not massively really keen. Um, but I'll see you. 140 quid a week? You are having a laugh, mate. Having an absolute laugh. 130? No. Just no. Come on, lad. 100. I'm offering you 100. 120? I don't know what I'm doing. I've just lost my mind. I guess you offer me... Good balance cover and full back spot. Oh, I might really get that one. I guess I hope he blossoms, but I don't know why I just offered him 120 quid. I mean, he, he has potential, and I trust my scouts that like he could be a five star player. Oh, we'll see. We'll see if we get him first. Let's not. Jump to conclusions. Let's see if we get him. I mean, I haven't seen anyone better than him so far. As in that, of oh, players that are in my affordability range. Anyway, training. Let's get some team cohesion going. And I'm going to be bringing a lot of players in. So team cohesion is going to be important. It's important anyway. When you're not working full time. And you only get to train a couple of days a week. Getting to play as a team in this team game is key like you'll see an understanding of more so than focusing on defending focusing on attacking at this early stage I'd say team cohesion is what I'm going to be focusing on I'll put that up put that very high because it is pre-season come on let's start that alright yep and I'm going to do that for next week as well. I'm going to cut down to team goes into two weeks focus on that. Really, really draw that in. I mean, obviously the concern is I'm not going to bring everyone in the start of preseason. So some people might miss out. But the key core of my squad should be unified by that time. And I'm hoping they learn my formation, which unsurprisingly is an English game. 4-4-2 I just don't think I have the players available to play a better formation and your the strikers at this level aren't ones that you can just trust to lead a line and score a bag full of goals so I'm going to need two up top to take any chances I can get at all really I'm playing Leighton Orient next um and try and see what sort of a team we can put together first. I like the setup: one defending, one automatic central midfielder, wingers attacking, one attacking forward, one deep playing forward. I like it. That's exactly how I want to set up as a four-four-two. So kind of through. Let that loading screen through. I don't know why it's loading is taking ages. I mean, I've obviously sped it up so you can't see it here. Oh, my transfer story leaked about Robin Shaw. Well, it's proving there then that he is a true demand. At English trial day, I've looked at a few of these players. Um, 
not overly mad about all of them. I don't know if that's not bad, but I'm going to declare interest in that. Uh, this, uh, this guy is strength. He's got good penalties, I guess. It's not really my cup of tea. I don't know. I was going to offer him a trial, see what he can do. But I don't think I have that option. Probably because he's a trialist. Um, let's see what else is in there. I'm Milton. Yeah, didn't like here. Jordan McGuire. Yeah, I'm not really like anyone else. Go through here. Stop wasting my time with this. I'm playing that under 21s match. Well, <laughs> so you can't he can't blame me for not trying when it's not an even option there for me to sign up because I probably didn't get to try there. Anyway, just meet the media, standard stuff. Yep. We expected being fair and realistic. Uh go driving for quality, of course. Many people want a manager like you, <laughs> like me, you know. Am I setting myself short? No, I'm very happy here. Uh, the club matches my talents and my ambitions. New managers aboard. Do, do, do. A complete, complete addition. Everyone's worthy of proving themselves. Hands on approach, reserved manner with players. Concent no, absolutely not. There's a lot more to concentrate on. Off chance the agent reading. Oh, you're gonna strengthen my midfield big time. Thank you very much. Let's go through to the next screen. So we've got the friendly with the under twenty ones next. So I think it's a good point to stop here and finish off this episode right now. And obviously next up we'll be starting off our preseason ambitions. See you then.